today. Chamzon had three points in their last game. That was against the Blazers. All of them were aces. And then all of them were in the fourth set. So let's see if she can replicate that to give the Angels the lead for the first time today. Cagante sets it up. Here comes Galang. Perez to Van Sickle. And the Angels yeah. are on top for the first time today. 19-18. Great transition play there by the Angels. Ivy Perez knowing full well that uh, the crossovers are now guarding Rani Palma. That's why she goes back to Brooke Van Sickle to the left wing for that point. Are they going to do anything different with the, the receive of the Gaston serve? Well, they're going to have to continue what they've been doing, no? Or feed the middles and then just take charge if you're the outside hitters of Petrogas Angels. They've been doing pretty well here in the first set, talking about uh, Van Sickle and Jonas Abete. Quick side out, true setter. Yeah. <laughs> the crossovers. And now Kagande is back in the game. Where does Eya Laure, I heard, yeah. played setter, setter as well when she was against, in high school. And against um, the um, HD Spikers. Yeah, she, she did. In, the in their lineup, I think it's only Joy Mikagande who's the natural setter. This is a lineup in the board. In the board, that's right. So Kagande is the lone setter in this tournament for the crossovers. Back to the biggest lead of the Angels at three points. Marano with the tip. Van Sickle popping it up. Perez to Pontillas. Rejected. Kept alive by Van Sickle. She gets it back. Van Sickle gives the Angels a four set point advantage. Wow. The connection of the veterans of Angels. Take a look at that set from Isa Maizo. Pinatabi niya eh, yung mga katabi niyang Angels. And she uh, took charge of that set to Brooke Van set from the crossovers. Van Sickle can put it away. Not just yet, says Galang. Nierva sets it up for Eya Laure. Cut shot does not crawl across the net court. And that's it. Ish. It's a 25-21 win by the Angels.